I am Dr. Eli Kohlberg from Unlimited Robotics. In this video, I will talk about a diode part 8. When a diode is connected in a reverse bias condition, a positive voltage is applied to the n-type material and a negative voltage is applied to the p-type material. The positive voltage applied to the n-type material attracts electrons towards the positive electrode and away from the junction. The holes in the p-type end are also attracted away from the junction towards the negative electrode. The net result is that the depletion layer grows wider due to a lack of electrons and holes and presents a high impedance path almost as an insulator. A high potential barrier is created across the junction, thus preventing current from flowing through the semiconductor material as presented in X figure. We can see the diode symbol that the plus side of the battery is connected to the cathode of the diode and the vertical line presents the barrier that blocks the current from flowing in the circuit. If the plus side of the battery would be connected to the anode side of the diode, a current would flow through the circuit, but in reverse mode it is blocked. This condition represents a high resistance value to the PN junction and practically zero current flows through the junction diode, with an increase in the bias voltage. However, a very small reverse leakage current does flow through the junction, which can normally be measured in microamperes. If the reverse bias voltage VR that is applied to the diode is increased to a sufficiently high enough value, it will cause the diode's PN junction to overheat and fail due to the avalanche effect around the junction. This may cause the diode to become shorted and will result in the flow of maximum circuit current and this is shown as a step downward slope in the reverse static characteristics curve in the next figure. On the left side we see the reverse breakdown region. Sometimes this avalanche effect has practical applications in voltage stabilizing circuits. For that, a series limiting resistor is used with the diode to limit this reverse breakdown current to a preset maximum value, thereby producing a fixed voltage output across the diode. This type of diode is commonly known as Zener diode. Thank you for being with me in this video. I hope to see you next one. Bye bye.